At a time when millions of black men, women, and children were subjected to the horrors of slavery in America, many white people took a stand. One such man put his life on the line to help over 2,500 enslaved people to reach freedom via the Underground Railroad. His name was Thomas Garrett, and he had a price on his head. Born into a family of Quakers, a religious group that opposed slavery, Garrett grew up on a farm in rural Pennsylvania, a northern state where slavery had been largely abolished. As a young man, Garrett witnessed a free black woman who worked on his family farm being kidnapped by slavers. She was going to be taken to the South and sold into slavery. Garrett tracked down the party and managed to rescue her. From that moment on, he dedicated his life to abolitionist causes. For the next 40 years, Garrett lived two lives. In public, Garrett worked as an iron merchant, but privately, he was a station master on the Underground Railroad. The Underground Railroad was a secret network of routes and safe houses that enslaved people used to escape to freedom. Working in collaboration with conductors such as Harriet Tubman, who guided them to safety, station masters like Garrett hid fleeing slaves in their homes until it was safe to move on. He was so good at it, the neighboring state of Maryland put a $10,000 bounty on his head. But there was one thing that almost stopped Garrett in his tracks. The Fugitive Slave Act of 1793 allowed the capture and return of enslaved people, fining anyone who helped them to escape. In 1848, he was found guilty of helping the Hawkins family and made to pay $5,400, rendering him bankrupt. But with the help of friends, Garrett was able to restart his business and continue his crusade. And when slavery was finally abolished following the American Civil War, he was hailed as a hero by the freed Black community. Can you think of other times in history when people chose to do the right thing, even when it was dangerous? <laughs>